I picked it up and I just kind of stared at it for a second and it was, you know, crushed pretty flat. My eyes got really wide and I was like, oh, this is a you know, giant snake. We compared that to modern snakes, it became incredibly clear that they were definitely snake vertebrae. And uh, we were able to figure out that we really had um, not only a large snake, but the largest snake. Imagine a snake so colossal it could snack on crocodiles for breakfast. That's right, folks. We're talking about the Titan of Boa. This ancient serpent roamed the Earth 60 million years ago, giving prehistoric creatures nightmares. But the big question is, could a snake this massive exist in today's world? Let's dive in and find out. To understand if a Titan of Boa-sized snake could exist today, we need to look at its old stomping grounds. Picture this tropical rainforests, sweltering heat and humidity levels that would make a sauna feel like the Arctic. The Paleocene epoch, around 66, 56 million years ago, was a paradise for big reptiles. Titanoboa thrived here, slithering through dense forests with a buffet of prey at its disposal. It was the king of its jungle, thanks to a perfect ecological balance. Back then, the environment was a snake's dreamland, the climate was warmer and more humid than today, providing the perfect conditions for reptiles to grow to enormous sizes. The lush vegetation supported a rich and diverse ecosystem, offering plenty of food for a massive predator like Titanoboa. Imagine living in a time where every corner you turn, there's a potential snack. No wonder Titanoboa got so big. Fast forward to today, and our climate has taken a serious chill pill. Modern tropical regions are warm, but they aren't the steaming, sticky hotbeds of the Paleocene. Today's anacondas and pythons have adapted to these milder conditions, but could they handle the intense heat and humidity needed to grow Titanoboa big? Probably not. Our current climate just doesn't have the right recipe for baking a giant snake cake. The Earth's climate has cooled significantly since the Paleocene and this cooling has had a profound impact on the types of animals that can thrive. Modern tropical regions, while still warm, do not reach the extreme temperatures that once supported the Titanoboa. This change in climate has limited the size of reptiles, including snakes, that can survive today. The Titanoboa's enormous size was directly linked to the higher temperatures and humidity of its time, conditions that are no longer present in our current environment. Size does matter, especially when it comes to the food chain. Titanoboa needed a lot of space and a whole lot of food to stay satisfied. In today's world, resources are spread thin. Modern ecosystems have evolved to support a diverse range of animals, but not necessarily a gargantuan predator that needs a five-course meal every day. Competition with other apex predators like big cats and crocodiles would also be a significant challenge. Can you imagine a turf war between a Titanoboa and a pride of lions? Yikes! Modern ecosystems are complex and finely balanced. The introduction of a massive predator like Titanoboa would disrupt this balance, creating competition for resources that could lead to the decline of other species. Today's largest snakes, such as the green anaconda and the reticulated python, have adapted to their environments and have specific ecological niches. These niches limit their size, ensuring they do not outgrow the resources available to them. Let's talk biology. Snakes are cold-blooded, meaning they rely on their environment to regulate their body temperature. For a snake the size of Titanoboa, this would be a Herculean task. Larger bodies struggle more with temperature regulation and require more oxygen. Modern large snakes have evolved clever ways to deal with these issues, but a snake as massive as Titanoboa would face serious challenges in today's world. Keeping its giant body at the right temperature would be like trying to heat a mansion with a single fireplace. The biological limits of reptiles are a key factor in determining their maximum size. Larger snakes face greater challenges in maintaining their body temperature and ensuring they receive enough oxygen to support their massive bodies. The metabolic demands of a Titanoboa-sized snake would be enormous, requiring vast amounts of food and efficient heat regulation. 
Modern reptiles have evolved to cope with these demands within the constraints of their environments, but a snake the size of Titanoboa would likely find these challenges insurmountable. Evolution has a funny way of playing favorites. Over millions of years, reptiles have experienced various growth spurts, but recent trends favor smaller sizes. Modern reptiles have adapted to the current climate, prey availability, and ecological balance. The evolutionary pressures of the Paleocene are long gone, making it highly unlikely for a Titanoboa-sized snake to make a comeback. It's like trying to bring back disco, fun to imagine, but not practical. Throughout history, reptiles have displayed a wide range of sizes, with some species evolving to become larger during specific periods. However, the evolutionary trends over the past few million years have favored smaller sizes driven by changes in climate, prey availability, and ecological dynamics. The conditions that allowed for the evolution of massive reptiles like Titanoboa no longer exist, and modern reptiles have adapted to the current environment, which imposes limitations on their size. Now, let's get a little wild. With advancements in synthetic biology and genetic engineering, who knows what the future holds? Maybe one day, scientists will figure out how to resurrect extinct giants like Titanoboa. But for now, these ideas are stuck in the realm of science fiction. The practical and ethical challenges are enormous, making the return of a Titanoboa-sized snake highly improbable. The concept of resurrecting extinct species through synthetic biology and genetic engineering is fascinating, but it remains highly theoretical. The challenges involved in recreating the precise environmental conditions and biological requirements for a Titanoboa-sized snake are immense. Additionally, the ethical implications of bringing back such a massive predator must be carefully considered. While the idea is intriguing, it is unlikely that we will see a Titanoboa slithering through modern forests anytime soon. To really understand Titanoboa's chances of a modern-day comeback, let's compare it with today's biggest snakes, the green anaconda and the reticulated python. The green anaconda holds the heavyweight title, tipping the scales at over 500 pounds, while the reticulated python stretches out to a maximum length of 30 feet. Impressive, but still no match for Titanoboa. These modern giants have adapted to their environments in remarkable ways, but their size is limited by today's biological and environmental constraints. The green anaconda and the reticulated python are the closest living relatives to Titanoboa in terms of size, but they are significantly smaller. These modern giants have adapted to their specific environments, developing unique strategies for hunting and survival. The green anaconda, for example, thrives in watery habitats, using its size to dominate its environment. The reticulated python, on the other hand, relies on its exceptional length and climbing abilities to capture prey. Despite their impressive adaptations, these snakes are limited by the resources and ecological conditions of today's world, preventing them from reaching the enormous size of Titanoboa. Digging into the past, fossils and scientific studies provide a treasure trove of information about Titanoboa and its prehistoric pals. Fossil evidence reveals that Titanoboa's enormous size was supported by a warm climate, abundant food sources, and evolutionary adaptations. Studies of other prehistoric giants, like the Argentinosaurus and Megalodon, help scientists piece together the puzzle of what made these colossal creatures tick. Understanding these factors sheds light on why such sizes are not feasible in today's world. Fossils and scientific research offer valuable insights into the lives of prehistoric giants like Titanoboa. Fossil evidence shows that Titanoboa was not only enormous, but also highly specialized for its environment. The warm climate and abundant food sources of the Paleocene allowed Titanoboa to grow to its massive size. Similar studies of other prehistoric giants, such as the Argentinosaurus and Megalodon, provide additional context for understanding the factors that enabled these creatures to reach such colossal proportions. By examining these prehistoric giants, scientists can better understand the biological and environmental conditions that supported their size, highlighting the differences between the past and present. 
While the Titan of Boa remains a jaw-dropping testament to the giants of yesteryear, the odds of such a massive snake slithering around today are slim to none. Modern climates, ecological constraints, biological limits, and evolutionary trends all point to one conclusion. Titanoboa's size was a product of its time. As we continue to explore the depths of natural history and science, we'll keep marveling at the legacy of Titanoboa and pondering the colossal creatures that once roamed our planet. Thanks for joining us on this slithery adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating content about the wonders of our natural world. See you in the next video!